kind of want to watch it, so we select Get Carter. It looks like it's not even in the guide, but uh, we can tell it to record it in the future. So when it does come on, it's automatically going to record that for you. Um, now again, very similar to the internet, there's a, a home button. Uh, we have a green media center button is what we call our home button. So simply, no matter how far down you're drilled into the menu screen, you hit the green media center button, it pops you back out to the start menu, a familiar spot on the screen, so you always know how to get back home. It's kind of the digital aspect. You notice we've got sports, what's on now, what's on later. We can grab some quick scores if we wanted. Players, give us some information about players. Uh, that's kind of nice. Lifeware. Um, Lifeware is our home automation piece. So we go into Lifeware here. Now we're going to have communication with some of the things in our home. Okay, So certain things as surveillance camera, uh, weather forecast, HVAC, so heating and air conditioning, um, lighting control. Those are all of our home control or home automation um, pieces to the package as well as the digital entertainment aspect. But we've got a camera here. We've got a front door camera outside. We have a, a camera mounted out in the front. As you can see, we can see some cars driving by there, some people going into the Best Buy store. Uh, we can actually pan the camera to the left or to the right. We could actually tilt it up or down, zoom in or out even, just to take a peek at what's going on. The cameras are nice if uh, maybe you're at work and you want to log into your virtual home is what we call it. Check out your cameras, see what's going on at the house, maybe see how the baby's interacting with the kids or whatnot. Uh, maybe you're, uh, you've got somebody doing some outside work to your house, you can put the cameras by the, uh, you know, by the windows and log in and then watch them do some yard work or some landscaping at the house. Maybe if they're framing up a deck, you can watch them frame a deck. Uh, you know, pretty much whatever you want to do. The cameras are wireless, uh, but they communicate with the server. So what I mean by wireless, they're really the only piece to the package that is wireless. The rest of the package is a wired solution. Um, however, the nice piece about having the cameras wireless is that you could move them from location to location. So you could have a camera outside watching the kids play in the pool, bring the camera inside, uh, when they're done and it'll pop back up into the uh, categories here for you. Or if the kids are playing in one room uh, and then they move to another room for movie time, you can move the camera in the other room, go back to your office and continue doing your work. Uh, here's the living room thermostat. We have HVAC control. So if you'll notice over here on the wall, we've got a thermostat. It says 82 degrees. So whatever that thermostat is actually reading, which is included in our package, we come in and uh, install that for you. Whatever that thermostat is reading, it's going to tell you right here inside temperature on your TV screen. So in your living room, you can see whatever zone you want to look at, uh, whatever the temperature is. So this says living room thermostat. We could actually make another uh, tile for another zone if you wanted. If you had a kitchen room thermostat or a master bedroom thermostat, we would just put that in there as well. But what's nice about having the inside temperature 82 degrees tell you from there is because if you're not at your home, the remote accessibility piece of our package is huge when it comes to the home automation because uh, when you're not at your home, now you can log into it and see what the temperature is. Maybe if you're on your way to your home, you can log in and if it's not at the desired temperature you like, you can actually turn it down a little or turn it up a little. So you've got 67 degrees, turn the thermostat up a little bit, and we'll put it up to uh, 71. Maybe, uh, maybe you want to turn your fan to auto, get the fan to auto, turn the mode to hot or cold. Actually, maybe if you want to just turn the fan on, get some air circulating around in your home. From your living room, you can do that. But now, because this is uh, a two rooms of control, base package is two rooms of control, so whatever you're doing here in the living room, you can actually do in the bedroom or in the kitchen, wherever you choose to put an extender. So base package comes as two rooms of control. You can add on a third room, add on a fourth room, add on more lights, add on more cameras. You can definitely customize the package, but you start with the base package and work from there. Um, again, the base package is two rooms of control. So what we've been seeing is people have been putting an extender in the master bedroom and the media center server in the centralized location, whatever room they hang out in the most is where the server goes. But now extending this experience to the bedroom means that now you're laying upstairs in bed you're getting kind of cold, you can simply grab the remote control from the nightstand next to the bed, go into your thermostat, turn it up a little. You don't got to get up out of bed to actually go over to the wall mounted display and, you know, turn it up a little. It's kind of the thermostat there. Uh, we've got weather forecast. This is kind of fun. Uh, maybe you're 
watching TV and you're trying to make plans for tomorrow or the next day, you can quickly uh, access the weather forecast, three day, five day, even a seven day forecast for you. It gives you some nice little visuals, tells you, you know, precipitation 12%, partly cloudy. So that's kind of the forecast. We've got lighting control. Within the lighting control, it's nice. It's actually going to give you a visual and tell you, hey, the lights are on at 100%. You can actually turn them off. Light bulb's going to go off. Turn it back on. Lights are going to pop back on. What's nice about the, having the visual is that if you're not in that particular room, you can actually tell if the light's off or on. If you're not at the house, you can log into your virtual home and find out which lights are on, which lights are off. We can put them in. A lot of people use these for outside lights, be able to control your outside lights. So we have couch puck lights, couch rope lights, TV rope lights, kitchen lights, you know, pretty much whatever categories you want us to uh, set up upon installation, that's what we're going to set up for you. We also have scenes or scripts. We can set a schedule. So similar to programming your thermostat, we can program your lights. So let's just say we want you want your lights to come on every night at dusk and turn off every morning at dawn. We can set that script for you, uh, program your particular um, script to uh, your longitude and latitude uh, locations on in the you know, planet. And as the world turns, it's going to always maintain dusk and dawn. Um, so I think that's kind of nice. It's called an atomic clock that the Media Center PC has built into it. But we also have these scenes. Scenes are nice because uh, a scene would be when you walk into a room, let's say you always change the lights, change the ambiance in the room to family movie night. So when you sit down with family to watch a movie, you probably dim down some lights, shut some lights off, maybe turn the HVAC down a little bit. Now you can build that all into a script or a scene, hit family movie night, and that's exactly what's going to happen. The lights on the side are going to dim, uh, and certain other things are going to uh, drop down, and maybe the TV pulls up a set movie that you want. Those are kind of what the scenes bring to the table. Outside of that, we have this online media. Go into online media. Here's, here's a spot where now you're going to access some sports, more, some more sports information. Maybe you want to read some articles, kind of like reading the sports section from your couch. Or we've got XM Satellite Radio. If you have an XM subscription in your car, now you can actually listen to XM subscription, or now you can listen to XM Radio in your living room, or... Uh, up in your bedroom or from your cell phone. Simply log into your virtual home, uh, check out the XM satellite tile, plug headphones into your phone and listen to XM now from your, from your cell phone. Uh, Yahoo Photos, some people store photos on there. You can actually buy movies from some of these tiles. So now you can buy a movie without having to go to uh, a Best Buy or any of the stores. Uh, same thing with uh, music. Now you can download music very similar to iTunes. You download them. Buy the, buy the music and throws them into your My Music tiles within your different categories here. So, um, the system also does come with an RF keyboard. Again, this is basically just a computer uh, in your living room that has special drivers and uh, a little more RAM. It's basically a souped up computer, not in typical tower form, uh, to go in the living room. So, at any time, you can simply uh, minimize the uh, media center, which is just the program that we're running, and go to your desktop. So if you needed to get to your desktop, you'd be able to do that now from the living room. Simply jump back, and you're back online. So the ConnectedLife.home package uh, is designed to be retroed into any existing home that's out there currently right now, assuming that you have electricity. So what I mean by that is it's a no new wires wired solution. Okay, so it's kind of hard to, to follow me with that there, but what I mean by that is when we come out and install this package, we're not going to pull any new wires for you. What we're going to do is take advantage of your existing structured wiring if you have some. If you do not have any existing structured wiring, then um, we're going to use your power lines that are currently in your walls right now. So our qualifying question if you want to buy this package is, do you have electricity? If you have electricity, you qualify for this package. So that's always uh, important to know. Outside of that, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed the demo. Um, and talk to your local Best Buy for Business representative within the store if you uh, need any more information or have any more questions.